Gearfacts friends, it's the dead of winter, and all I have to warm me is the blinding heat of the Roland Juno G. So those are some extreme elements, let's go back to basics. You can run several arpeggios at once. Here's some monophonic fun. And this feature is great, you can add effects to an external source, in this case guitar. Okay, now let's take another look at that raucous D-beam controller. It can control almost any parameter, but you can use it like a theremin as well. And when used in this way, it always sounds fierce. Sounds kind of like it's in a blind panic. This is about as gentle as it gets. So that's the vibe of the D-Beam synth. Let's chill out with some EP now.
G also has a respectable set of preset beats. Let's hear some. But it can go way further than that if you want it to. Since we're turning those knobs, we might as well try some pads out. Okay, that's the Roland Juno G, friends. If ever anyone was looking for a manifestation of versatility in a keyboard, this is it. You've got the studio tools of a synthesizer, a multi-track recorder, an effects system that can even work on external instruments, the beautiful live possibilities of the D-Beam controller, arguably a bit of a gimmick, but I like it, and it's just a beautiful synth to play with its overall excellent ergonomics and beautiful key feel. Thanks for watching Gearfax. Please like, comment, or subscribe. See you on the next one, guys.